One of the most common questions I get asked is how frequently you should be trimming your hair. And it's a loaded question, honestly, so let's talk about it. By the way, my name is Lynn Wood. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and a cosmetology instructor. And if you find this video informative, please consider clicking like and subscribe. Now the textbook answer to this question is four to six weeks, but that's honestly not true in most cases. Here's why. The whole four to six weeks thing is great when you're talking about like, let's say you got a cute little bob, you're trying to maintain it, you want to keep it the same length and you're really planning on wearing this style for a long, periodically time. In that instance, yeah, getting it trimmed every four to six weeks helps to keep its shape in place. That's not really for people who are trying to grow their hair out though. So how long should you go between trims if you're trying to grow your hair out? Well, that's a little bit of a tricky question and it's going to depend on the fabric of your hair. And yes, I intentionally call it a fabric of hair because everyone's hair is different and it's going to boil down to whether your hair is coarse, medium, or fine in terms of diameter, not in terms of curl pattern. I have a whole separate video for that if you need it. Now, if your hair is fine and you've been taking proper care of your hair, meaning you're sleeping on satin, keeping your moisture protein balance where it should be, things like that, you could probably go eight to 10 weeks without seeing any split ends at all in between your trims rather than going six to eight weeks. That way you're able to see some growth, lightly dusting those ends and still seeing that growth be able to be retained and all that. However, <laughs> fine hair is much more prone to breakage, so just keep that in mind. In the instance of medium to coarse hair, a lot of times you can go a bit longer, especially if you're taking proper care of that hair, which means that you're sleeping on satin, like a satin pillowcase like this right here, or you're sleeping on silk, things like that, or you're having your hair tied up in those type of fabrics. You are deep conditioning regularly, not burning your hair up with heat every day. I've got tons of tutorials and videos on this channel if you need more information there. If you have a coarser fabric of hair, you can go a bit longer without having to trim for the sake of removing split ends. So what does that mean? If you have a coarser fabric of hair with proper care, you can go to three months, maybe a little longer without seeing any degree of split ends, things like that. Usually around the three month mark, even with proper care, you're gonna see at least a small amount of split ends. But if you're natural, you may not even realize that those ends are split. So let's talk about that too. You see commonly with natural hair, people will often think that their hair is just dry or they're seeing those little balls on the ends of the hair and they're just thinking that there are some knots in there. Those little balls on the ends of the hair are a sign of split ends. Dryness and split ends often mimic each other with natural hair as well. So a lot of times while I'll recommend that people do before they even think about going to get a trim so that way they're not getting too much cut off is to deep condition with a moisturizing product not a strengthening product not a restorative product not a repair product moisturizing it needs to specifically say moisture not protein prior to going and getting your hair trimmed that way if you have a stylist that's a little less experienced they're not mistaking dry hair for split hair and cutting hair that's tangling because it's dry versus cutting hair that's tangling because it's split and that's a big deal you may also notice if your hair is split that you're having issues with your curls being as defined as they used to be so if you have naturally curly hair the ends of it may not keep the same level of definition as the rest of your hair if you have naturally straighter hair and you curl your hair that hair is not keeping those curls on the ends if you have naturally curly hair and you're straightening your hair those ends aren't staying straight but the rest of it is usually those split ends are going to be like that bad child in the grocery store that's just going to embarrass you for no reason that's that's what this is they're the child that's telling you like oh somebody farted that mom was at you that farted in the store that's that's your split ends they be showing out every time you get out in public that's exactly what they do now hold on because you also want to make sure that the person who is trimming your hair is using professional quality shears that have been either heat tempered or ice tempered for hair because if you're using a dull pair of kitchen shears or shears that are really not meant for hair in general you can actually cause more split ends just by the act of trimming with a dull pair of shears an ill-maintained pair of shears or a pair of shears that really was not intended for hair that was really meant to be cutting up some chicken breasts or something like that you also want to ensure that you're speaking to your stylist about whatever your goal is so is the goal to maintain length is the goal to gain length is the goal to keep a certain hairstyle things like that by the way if you want to get a mannequin that mimics natural hair that's the way to go. It's linked down below. Okay, love you. So as you can imagine, if you're trimming your hair too frequently, you're going to be losing out on a lot of length that you could be retaining. So if length retention or if growth is your goal, I don't want you to think that your hair is growing slow if you're getting it trimmed every four to six weeks. That's more of a maintenance type of thing than that is a grow out type of thing. So ensure that you're taking proper care of that hair. Ensure that you are taking those steps and keep in mind whether your hair is fine versus coarse or in somewhere in between. Look for those signs to split ends and get it trimmed when those signs are there 
and that way you're able to alleviate some of the issue there while retaining as much length as possible. If you found this video informative and you'd like to know more about hair care, things like that, please be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment down below, or simply click the like button. Also, if you like my shirt, I'll try to leave a link down below to the site where they actually custom made it for me, and that way if you like it, you can get what you want to. Okay, love you, bye. Have a wonderful day, and you know I love you, boo. Stay glam.